Hello, hello guys, and welcome to week number 7 of the UBL. This week, we're up against Iris Emerald and his Wexford Waylords, and um, you can see his team down, down there, uh, kind of a really friendly team. For what I expect him to bring, because we might as well get that over with before the team builder. Oh, I mean, just going over the team is already built, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I'm definitely expecting him to bring Salamence, Scissor, Lycan Rock. I could definitely see it too. It would be still not too because Pops, Victini, and Pidgeot. Zoroa, again, Pops, Pidgeot, and Sylveon. And then, like, the last one could kind of be if it could. Hopefully, not a Hooper. Hooper would be bad, but. Um, could be Huber, Damanis, and Arachnid. Like, basically, the only thing that we don't see him bringing is the on top. But you never know, he could surprise. But um, th those are the ones I would kind of expect. So we go over the team. First of all, you can already see here. Beautiful, we have Silvelli, ground type this time. Panic Shot, Mosey, it's like Flame for Ice Beam. Basically, this thing is bulky, <laughs> first of all. It um, takes hits from... Zoroa. I have a tendency to forget the names right now, so excuse me, <laughs> I guess. And Lycanroc also too. Can switch into those. It can threaten with having multi attack. It hits a lot of his team. And always like Flamethrower pops the scissor. Ice Beam can pop a Salamence. Panic Shot in case we go in against something like a or Sylveon and we don't really want to be there. So kind of like just a bulky switch in, kind of threatening things back, giving a bit of momentum thingy. Then we have Diancy again, because Diancy is a beautiful little thing. Very special offensive. Actually speedy, so it can outspeed some of his slower things. Like it easily outspeeds Sylveon, it outspeeds Arachnid. I don't know 100%. It outspeeds the non investor Scissor, basically. That's that's an important thing. non investor Scissor, we're faster than. Moonblast Power Gem and then Hidden Power Fire, Force Edge Scissor, Silverfrogs, and then the Papiri Berry to reduce the steel type damage because. Then we could kind of buff this because, like, a bulky is on this. He's especially bulky, which I would expect him to be physical. Of course, we don't know, but I would expect him to get buffed by a combination of Power Gem and Hit Power Fire. So, that's kind of that thing. So, hopefully, we can take him by surprise. That would be absolute optimal. Then we have Mega Pidgeot. Because even though he has, like, Lycanroc and Soror, Pidgeot still has, like, an okay matchup with Hurricane Roos Protect and then Refresh in case he has, like, the Pelos and something to put on Toxics, then we can kind of, you know, heal ourselves back. And again, like, he don't, he doesn't really have good switch-ins to Hurricane. That would mostly, like, be bulky Sylveon, Pelos and something. That would be able to take that. And then we have Roost, of course, to heal ourselves. And we are mostly offensive and speedy, but we're actually modest, because we're not, like, we're going to get popped by Lycan Rock anyway, so there's no reason to speed creep it, basically, was the thing. So, and then protect because we can scout this is this will most likely like depending on what he's bringing like if he's wrong enough completely this might not be the lead but this is what i expect to lead basically then we have the tentacruel because um toxic spikes against this team could be super nice and it has an okay matchup it's not fantastic but it's good like it's basically the only thing we have that could take on a record and when i say take on i don't mean that it can take it on but it can take hits at least I mean, that's <laughs> that's something we kind of get a little bit destroyed by water types. Um, but yeah, Skull, Slush Bomb, Toxic Spice, Rapid Spin, Clear Body, because then we are not affected if in case he gets some Stinky Webs. Um, yeah, Skull just, you know, hitting, Slush Bombing to poison things could be useful. Toxic Spice would be nice. Then we go into Victini, who is a absolute destroyer, hopefully this week, with modest choice specs, basically. U-turn, Blue Flare, Psyshock, Glaciate. You know, it, it, like, he has nothing on his team, basically, that can take two hits. Like, there's nothing that can take two blue flares. Though, if he brings Hooper, we have to play this like it's scuffed, and I mean, that shouldn't be too hard, because, you know, we are choice. But uh, we would have to, like, bank on, like, kind of, you know, get him into thinking that this thing is scuffed, which would be likely. But instead, our scuffer is Katana, which uh, has Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Knock Off, and Exorcist. Exorcist is purely there for Hooper, because... That would guarantee, no matter what, that we would get a one-shot. Well, Leaf Blade, it would kind of be a roll unless we have Rockstar, but we don't want to end in that situation. And Cassandra is basically, hopefully, our late game sweeper. But um, with that, I will be back when we're about to jump into it. So until then, sit tight. Okay, so we're just about to jump into it soon, I hope. It doesn't know how long his introduction is, but we'll take it. Um, kind of excited to see what he's bringing, and kind of also scared, because... I know we've been on a bit of a winning streak, and I ki I kind of like winning, but at this point, it's a bit more fun, but we will see how it goes. Like, we take it as it comes. Um, 
if we manage this game well, like we can win. But if I, I just need to basically think, I I need to not brain fart. Otherwise, I already have excuse for why we lost us because Pidgeot is in a Pokeball. The Pidgeot should not be in a Pokeball, but it has to be. So I cannot know reflect, not reflect, refresh. I don't know. Like I've said, reflect so many times instead of refresh that it's. It's silly, and he's, he's taking his time. He's making an introduction too, but um, we'll see. We'll see. He's done. Yes, let's get into it. So ready. I'm so pumped. I'm just ready to take a nap. Yeah. Okay. He has the Hoover. Okay. Let's see what we're What is the. He doesn't have the Sorora. 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 Okay, but otherwise, we guessed it like kinda okay ish. So, I reckon. Why do I have more Pokemon than. You know, I only have six. It's just because they're all bloody big. Bloody, bloody big. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, that's a bit of. No, so much you can't be there. You're kind of, you know, taking up space. Um. What could see as leads? I would be most likely to think I reckon this is a Hoover. Probably. Um, I'm not sure though. This is kind of a um, an unfortunate <laughs> scenario. Oh, okay. I think we still take the Pidgeot because we can still get the chance to scout if he leads Hoover. If he has. Like, Hoover. Either he's going hot sticky webs and would have like something else, but otherwise it would be scarf probably. If he is not like super reliant sticky webs, he could be super reliant sticky webs, which would be ugly. But um, let's see, let's see as we go into it. Let us see, let us see what you're going to bring. Let's see. Oh, we need the bar. Nice. My beautiful ugly bar. Beautiful ugly bar. Crimson. That sounds like a sizzle. It is a sizzle. Um, he's basically only switching is the Sylvan, but I think we should still just go for a hurricane, play it safe, kind of scout what he's going to do. To just like kind of, kind of see, kind of see. He just has switches, makes sense because he has to respect the um, the thingy, my bub. Let's see, Sylvan. What do we do to you? We make a ball. We are a pre burp. And we do a good solid 40%. Okay. That's not fully fully specially bulky, I don't feel like. No, that's actually not very specially bulky at all. Hmm. Interesting. Um also kind of unpleasant. Um, to be honest, but uh, he is a, like he's like a like fifty nine percent or something. No, he's a, he's a bit more. Did he have leftovers? He had leftovers. He had lefties, lefties, lefties. I should write it down. And he is at a solid sixty something percent. I made this right, which does absolutely no guarantee that I did. But I think I have a pretty safe switching into tentacle to kind of scout. Because Sensical at least somewhat eats a Hyper Voice, um, we kind of friend him, we might be able to get up some Toxic Spikes or something, that could be kind of nice. And you know, something could hit itself, which it didn't, which is fair enough, it just wished. So this is where it kind of gets interesting because there's three things he could do. Either he can stay in, take a hit, which to me seems kind of silly. Um, otherwise he could switch. And the two things I can seem to switch into are either like a Rekronid or Hoover. But what's my middle ground play? He should switch, by the way. I should probably note it down that he should switch. Um, 
Why do I have that hits both friends both Fuba and a Requinet? I don't seem to get a Requinet though. What friends Fuba? Victini does. If it doesn't, what does Victini take? From a. No, I want what Victini takes from a Sylvia. I'm actually using time to think this time. Have you noticed that, guys? We take Hyper Voice pretty well, basically. So I think that's kind of our like, middle ground. We'll see. Hopefully, he switches. That would be best case scenario. <laughs> would be a switch. He withdraws. Good. Into what? Into what? Charlotte. Who's Charlotte? That's you. That's not optimal. <laughs> Dang, that's not optimal. Okay, we U turn. Right back into Dungeon Crew. He withdraws into what? Bloodwing. That's you. That's you. What do we do to you? Ah, uh, 6%. That. <laughs> um, but the, it is Salamence and it does have Intimidate. Um. <sighs> Victini, Salamence. Great. We are intimidated. I don't think I can see anything out of that gallon, to be honest. Kinda not. Oh, not Ice Buddy? You have Inti Ice Buddy, Salamence. I mean, if he was bulky. He's not bulky. I don't think that. I, I feel like that should have done a little bit less. Like, just a couple of percent percentages. How much does Pidgeot do, then? Pidgeot against Salamence, if you're offensive. Don't you wish your Salamence was offensive? I mean, I, I, again, like, it's pretty close. We do quite a bit, but not enough. Never enough. Does he kill us with Outrage? From C move. C. C, C, C. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah, he kind of really does. Um, we could go... Diancy? I think that's probably... Kind of... Like a middle ground, because we, fre we are threatening him out, basically. Or he has Hydro Pump. That's... Or he has Earthquake. We could also have Earthquake. What happens if he has Earthquake? Uh, that's not I get against Pidgeot nothing basically if it is against a Diancy with Earthquake It does quite a bit if he's full Because if he's fully invested But I'm also friending him with a Moonblast to the face I think my best play is just power jamming. See what he does. Keeping up pressure. He withdraws. Okay, into what? Into Scissor? I feel like that's Scissor. Okay. Okay, so now it becomes fun. Hopefully. Best case scenario, he predicts me to switch and you turn to something. Um, worst case scenario, he bull punches and we live. Oh, uh, actually, a very worst case scenario is that he hard switches out. But I'd really like him to stay in and try and new turn. That would be like that would be low key optimal. He's mega evolving. Do we do we kill the scissor like right away? Can, can we kill a scissor? Can we kill a scissor? I I would love to kill a scissor, unless it's fast. It's not fast. Yeah, we killed the scissor. Nice, good job, Diancy. That's such a dead scissor. Nice. Because that's one of the things that was standing in the way of Katana at the late game. Basically, we have to get um, Salamence and a Requinid down to health. And Sylvan probably also a bit. But then, like, Katana begins to have fun. And he did not expect that, so that's... Like, Dancy already did its job. Like... And it's still all healthy. And I'm not sure he has anything that can actually, you know, take us out. So we'll see. We'll see what it does. I would think he would go either the Erequinid or the Lycanroc because they are the ones who put pressure on me. I would probably switch out. Like, if he goes Lycanroc, we go Sylvalli. 
If he goes right on it, we go touch school, basically. And this thing is falling down in my face. He goes Sylvia. Okay. He's setting up a wish, basically. That's what he's doing. That's basically what he's doing. <sighs> but, I mean... He already showed that he wasn't, like, super... He wasn't super, like, especially defensive. Because he took, like, 40% from Hurricane, so he's, he's, not, he's not, like, that especially defensive. And if he's, like, a... Uh... Okay, no, even if it's not, we're not doing that much. So I think, like, the best thing is just still going into the Sentry Rule at this point. Because it's not really, like, we don't take, like, we can take easily two Hyper Voices, but we don't really take the third. So well, that's no reason, because we can still put up pressure, because we still beat these elements. And you just hit me. You did not do a lot. You did some, though. You did some, though. So we get down to 150. HP. So you did a solid 20%. Is that weird from a Sylveon? It does seem weird. No, it's actually a bit offensive then. Interesting. That that thing is offensive. Last time we switched into the the little thing, the bug. <laughs> Good description. He switched into the bug. Um, but we don't do a lot to Hoover with this thing. That's basically the problem. I don't want to like let Hoover come in and have fun, basically, because it kind of bobs us. Sludge bomb because we're not fully healthy. That's basically the problem. We're not fully healthy. Um, I think we he's not going to hyper voice again, but I think we're going to make the same switch into Big Teeny because even then, like, we can still basically if he doesn't go into the arachnid, we can still U turn into the Tension Crew again because the thing is just like I, I don't want Diane to have it free. He protects. Okay, he's just protect. He's just protect. And he showed hyper voice. And he showed that he's not that specially defensive. And that is probably also slightly like he's he's slightly attacking this somehow. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay. Mm. So we have Victina against the Sylveon. Do we have a reason not to just go for the uh, blue flam? I mean, he switched into Salamence last time, right? I think he did. It, that would also be the best, like... He would go Requinite or Salamence, basically. I think we just click blue flam because it covers everything. And Salamence does not want to eat too. Okay, he protects. So now he sees that we're special. So he's not going into go sal he's not going to go salamence now. He go away with it. Otherwise, how bad are we with how bad does Pidgey take a hit if he's like slightly antagonistic? I mean we're basically living under the circumstance. Because this thing would die. Uh, it wouldn't die, but it would get preempt to us. Because I don't think we're, we're not doing a lot to Araquanid, basically. It's a problem. Araquanid. I'm using a lot of time thinking. <sighs> Which, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, Blue Flare does nothing to an Araquanid. I think we have to go Pidgeot. Because, like, it's his best switch in, is the Araquanid. Which, I mean, he could read me, and that would be super unfortunate. But I'm kind of hoping that I get it right here. Charlotte, nice! That's beautiful. That's absolute best case scenario. We just click her again. We just click her again.
because we're hitting anything. Like, I, I mean, like a rock takes it. Of course it does because it's freaking like a rock. That's basically the thing. But it does not really want to. He's probably going to go spirit. Okay, he actually does go for the like a rock. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Oh, did I go solid 50%? Like a rock. Which I guess is pretty normal. Is that pretty normal for like a rock? That's pretty normal for like a rock. Actually, that's kind of a low roll, maybe. I could just be an Ivy to us be the big teeny, so that kind of makes sense. But we have to go Silver Valley, basically. That's basically our play. Because we probably might have to eat a Stone Edge. Yeah, we're eating a Stone Edge. He kind of gets a scout if he's life orb. He's not life orb, okay. We could have a pretty good panic shot opportunity here. I think that's the best because he is. Otherwise, he's losing this thing. Yeah, he would draw. So good. It's what? It's Charlotte. Good. That gives us Pidgeot again. And now he's at the point he cannot switch like a rock in this time. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's going okay. It's going okay. Because now we just get to spam her game. Oh, I mean, maybe not spam it yet. That's it's too early. But we get to her game again. Because Sylveon could E2 potentially, because it had like it had most of itself. It didn't have all of it, but it had a lot. Lycanroc. I should probably re <laughs> I should probably put these things down. Lycanroc. Not being good at keeping up. Is that 50%? Probably Expert Bell. We know it has Stone Edge. We know that the Erect Quinn. We actually don't really know anything about the Erect Quinn. We know that he has a Scissor, and that Scissor is very much dead. We don't know any of his moves, but it doesn't really matter because, again, it's dead. Uh, what was the stars thing? I, I could actually legit just see. He had to Hoover, which hasn't hit the field yet. That's true. Hoover Unbound. Maybe probably a good idea. Okay, he just stays in. That's nice. We get to do a lot. Basically. And he gets to get all the sticky webs. Okay. Okay. Kind of unfortunate. Luckily, it's withdrawing into what? Sylvia. So he saves the thing. He saves it like 15% or something. So one goes down to around 50, 60, something. Okay. The problem is that we kind of need Pidgeot healthy in case... Because I think Pidgeot can take a hit from Pooba if it has to. Not if it's Specs, probably. We might be kind of, kind of screwed. Specs are rolls, basically. Specs are rolls. That's fifty percent rolls. Oh, it's probably not specs though. Oh yeah, I mean it could be specs. It's actually very likely that it could be. But it would have to, basically. I mean, we kind of have to wrap a spin, it's basically the problem, and that invites in the Hooper, and it's super unfortunate. So this is back like a 61%-ish. <sighs> because we will have to play Frango around the Hooper, and I'm going to take some water because I'm seriously in need of it. I didn't hope you could hear too much of that, because otherwise it will be edited out, probably, if I remember it. I might not, we'll see. The best thing you can do is to not go into Hooper. From my point of view. Yeah, you draw into Hooper. Yeah. Okay. So now we are not really having fun. Um. Okay. Oh, 
Victini. <laughs> hoopa. Hoopa, hoopa, hoopa. You died to Dark Balls. The problem is that, like... If you would go for Dark Balls... If you'd go for Dark Balls, then what? Then Victini would be absolutely atrocious. A side shock hits everything pretty damn hard. Is Victini absolutely necessary to win? No, but it would be nice to have. But I kind of feel like the answer at this point is probably worth more because it still like it can still take any hit that can be thrown out. I think we have to play that he's go for side shock. And that he's not scuffed. I mean, even if he is scuffed, we're, that, that would actually be like high key the best thing. He goes for attackers. Shit, he reads it. Okay. Oh, we actually live somehow. Okay. If he specs, we'll speed him. If he's scuffed, we don't. <laughs> oh, this is, um, this is not nice. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh, he's not specs. He definitely just showed that because otherwise we would have been dead. Most likely a roll. What do we do in damage? We basically have to click U-turn. We have to hope he thinks that we're scuffed. Yes, he withdraws. Thank God. Bloodwing comes in. Nice. Nice. I We want him to think that we're scuffed. That's the absolute best thing at all. Is if he thinks we're scuffed. That was a crit. <laughs> that was pathetic damage, but it's okay. We go Diancy. <clears throat> and I see Sylvian coming in. But I think I might actually get up the rocks. That would take care of the um of the erect bonnet. It seems I could also just like predict the Sylvian, I could hard switch. Is Hooper still at full health? Hooper's still at 100, and we know it has time for us. <laughs> it's fully invested. And probably it's timid because otherwise I don't think we should have lived. And probably scuffed. It's a 100. So this is like an 80. Just noting things down so I don't forget them. I'm definitely seeing the Sylvia coming out. Oh, this is kind of tough, kind of tough. We have to switch into Tentacool. He would draw since what? Not Hoopa. Sylvie, good. Good, 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 good. He knows he can take hits with this thing, but would he? Is the question. Would he? Slash bomb doesn't do a lot. Slash bomb does not do a lot. Um, to Hooper, that is. Those are okay to Sylvia. She does quite a bit to Sylvia. But I have to friend the Don Hooper. Oh. Why is this so tough? Because... <laughs> I 
Victini threatens the Hooper because he thinks it's scuffed, which is super good. Um, Kevin could take a hit from the Sylvan in case he decides to attack. And otherwise it heavily discourages him from actually, you know, going into it. Like, Hooper outspeeds, but it doesn't take us out in one shot if we don't take any damage. I think I'm going to pitch out. It might be silly. That might be a silly play, but um, I feel like I kind of have to do it because, like, I cannot allow the Hooper to get in again for free, basically. He protects. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Getting up to 70 something health. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. We, as always, just click Hurricane. I mean, he could wish protect, but in the end, like, I don't think it actually matters for us if that's what he does. Because he's not winning anything by doing it. But it might be, it might be what he's doing. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I mean, in the end, it doesn't change our play that he protects. He gains health, but he doesn't really gain that much. It could have been a free switch into Tentacle. Yeah, because now he hits like. Eh, he's almost up back to full, actually. But I still just click hurricane. He just wishes again. How much do we do to a hoop of the yard? It's actually the real question. Not enough because that thing is fucking fat. Basically, that's the problem. Um. Um, um, um. Tana. Against. This. Let's need to check. Um. <laughs> I can get him to 50%. He would basically go back to full. Get to see what he locks himself into, but at this point, there's no reason for him not to go Psy Shock other than the fact that Katana takes it. But the Hooper's still full health, but it will still give him a reason to, uh, like, a way to get it in for free. That's the problem. Where'd he go, Hooper? I think he would. I think he would. Please do. Please do. Please do. Ah, shit. Dang it. Okay, I'm playing poorly now. Okay. Okay. There's 18. Yeah, I can't find 18. Okay, that was still. We could have just. Okay. Um, Katana. Threaten a lot with a Psy, not a Psy check, a Smart Strike. Okay. He's only switching elements. Is that a problem for me? What do I need for Katana to sweep? Damage on the Salamence. I need to not be intimidated by it. And I need damage on it. And I need probably a bit of damage on the Hooper. It's basically, if I think, like, what do we do if we're not there? 
Yeah, so Mouth Strike does like at least 73. So we would need damage still, but we basically have to save Katana. I think we go Tentacruel, because the only thing he can go into is the um, Salamence to take it. Even if it is, we need a Hyper Voice. Here it draws. It's what? Blood Wing. Good. Okay. At this point, I feel like we just Sludge Bomb. Is that the right play? It's going to go into Kuga, most likely. We could also go Toxic Spikes. How much does Diane take from Kuga? Actually, uh, Victini, you're dead. I'm sorry. Sorry, darling. How much does Diane take from Kuba? Kuba, Kuba. Wahuba. Wahuba, Kuba. Probably not specs. Okay, Diancy takes any one hit. That's good to know. So, we basically don't lose nothing. I think we just dodge bomb. We get the damage that we can. He's going to go into a Hoover. No, he's going to go into this thing and sag it. Okay, fair enough. Does it even kill it? Yeah, okay, thank god. <laughs> okay, but now he gets a free switch, which is, um, of course, not that nice. <laughs> Let's see. He'd go into, yeah, goes into Hoover. Let's see, Arachronid is dead. Hoover's still full health. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Tentacle, can, can you eat a hit if it's not specs? And not if, not, if it is, not if it's level 100. I actually have a chance of living. Pretty good chance of living with this Ice Shark. And I really don't want him damaging anything else. I think I just have to click the Slush Bomb. Because if we live, we get the damage. And, um. Which we do. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we get damage because then it begins to look nice for Katana. As soon as we get the, um, actually the poison, the poison could be beautiful as I have to turn on my camera again because it went out. So I hope that was not way too long because that that kind of sucks. I, honestly, I hate that camera. Okay, we just stay in, I guess. Let's unscrew, go down because we're definitely not out of it yet. Because what we actually just need, because this thing is like it's 70 something now. 70 is. Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing. We basically just need damage on Salamence. And on what's its face? I'm a, I mean, Katana doesn't do a lot to Salamence if it's been intimidated, let's say, like that. What if it's an offensive settlement section? Offensive. That's intimidate. What do we do with spot strike? Intimidate. Actually, that would not be a safe switching for him. And he actually won't be able to take two. Smart strike is just. I can't 100% surely say that it'll take him out. But he's not specs. That means the Pidgeot lives a hit. That means the Pidgeot lives a hit. So that means we go Pidgeot. Because he can't take us out. So we click Hurricane. He's going into Sylveon. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Oh yeah, it's at 100%. Why did I not change that yet?
Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Definitely convenient for me. Um, very unfortunate for him. That that's kind of, I'll be honest, that kind of throws his momentum a lot. But we... Are we even, like... Are we even sure? A crit did 60%. Uh, not a Z move, a crit thing. No, not Rouge. Rouge cannot crit. <laughs> he has some special bulk. Yeah, maybe he is actually pretty special bulk. Not fully, but he is pretty. So if we don't crit, what's this? He lives... But not comfortably. He'll have to wish. Or he'll just go for the damage. I think it's best just to click the hurricane. He protects, okay. I could have gone Katana then. That would actually have been beautiful to go into Katana there. <laughs> Do we live? Hyper voice from Sylvia. It's Katana. Like, in case everything goes wrong and he clips, clicks Hyper voice instead of Wish, which I don't think that he should. I think that he should click Wish. We live a Hyper voice with Katana. That means I go Katana. Because he can stop the beast boost. Definitely. But. Salamence is very likely to die at the same time. Yeah. He is just wishes. Okay. He could send that into Salamence. That's the worst thing, though. Is he either going to protect or he's going to switch? Maybe we'll then actually go Diancy here. Because the problem is, like, Intimidator, we don't do anything to a Solomance. Like, we actually don't 100% know. Like, it's just like the U turn damage indicated, but we don't, like, it. we really haven't seen enough to, like, be super sure. I don't feel like Intimidate. I mean, if it's not bulky, we still do around. Just under 40%, but that would not be nice. We have the Silver Valley that we could switch in at that point. I think we just click Smash Strike. Right? Yeah, he protects, okay. That's a good thing. What I don't like is that we've not seen his fourth move. It might be that it's heal bell. I'm kind of scared that it could be hidden power fire. I think we just... I actually think we have to switch into the valley. We kind of scout. I don't think he would want to take this master right damage unless he has hidden power fire. I think we go to valley. Because even then, like, the valley is technically still expendable. Not the optimal? Definitely not. Okay, with draws. Probably not hidden power fire then. Goes into Bloodwing. Okay, that's nice. Would he expect an ice beam? What do I lose if I don't? What do I lose if I ice beam and he switches to Sylveon? I can panic shot out. What health is Pidgeot at? At full. Okay. So I don't lose a lot. But I definitely lose momentum. But if it stays in and I panic shot. I mean, he'll do damage. But I can go into Diancy. So maybe panic shot is actually the better play. Oh, he drank dances. Oof. Okay, that's kind of scary. Okay, so he's physical. <laughs> oh, god dang it. 
Uh, who, who's dead? Tunchku is dead, okay. Diancy against a Salamance with Dragon Dance, but it's a neutral attack. So I was right when I said offensive. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, I'm not special defense, okay. We go Diancy because I think we live in Earthquake. Yeah, we do. We live in Earthquake. It's basically the thing. Worst thing is that we actually have to attack. Because we cannot allow him to like predict me to do... I don't know what I do, but... We cannot let him predict that. Basically, it's kind of the thing. We just drag dance. That's, that's scary. That's scary. That's very scary. But the good thing is he can't have ground MC because he's a Salamance and... He, no, not because he's a Salamance. That's actually the reason why he could. But he has to drag and see Crystal, so... He can't... Do that. Cannot do that. This is getting pretty, pretty close. <laughs> we just need to chip. I actually think we also need to chip the Sylveon down a bit, to be honest. Um, Sylveon. I mean, he's not physically defensive. So we actually probably don't. Okay, he switches out into the Sylveon. Yeah. That's fortunate for me, not for him. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of hacks. I'll say that, I'll say that. Okay, I think at this point though, at this point. At this point, at this point. I think I'll actually set up the Sulfrox. Because then we chip down the Salamis to a point where it cannot switch into Katana. At all. And actually expect to live. And I mean, he, okay, he hyper voices, good. I mean, I don't know that it's good, but it's something. Because now... Salamence is 75%. What does Katana do to Salamence? With Intimidate, that's not bulky. Intimidate. Basically between 71 and 85. <laughs> Dang! Okay. But honestly, I don't know. Somehow I feel like it's just like it's the best bet that we have. He yeah, have a voice, that's fine. We need that because he's at minus. I think I, I just have to click Smart Strike. And I need not to get low roll, basically. You protect. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. The unfortunate thing would, of course, be if he's EV'd himself to the point where he lifts a Smart Strike. But looking at Sylvian's set, like now I'm just looking here. On a bowl set that doesn't have any investment, it's basically like. It should. Basically, it should. Okay, he withdraws into settlements. Yeah. Can we manage? We should. Yeah, we should because of the Stealth Rocks. We should because of the Stealth Rocks. The problem is, does Hooper survive? <laughs> I unfortunately think that it, do it does not survive two. That's the thing, he still doesn't have anything that survives two smart strikes. So we get the Salamence down. Okay. Because now we're neutral. Attack. Since all this thing. If this thing is scarfed, we are screwed. If it's not...
What's the health of that Pokemon? Pidgeot can live and take out the Hoopa. What level was Sylvan? Sylvan is still pretty healthy, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. Okay. There's a reason why he brought it in. I go Savali and I scout. He doesn't bring this in without any reason. That would be silly. Goes for the fire thing. Okay. Nice. Do we have any reason not to go for multi attack? Do we have any reason not to go for multi attack? I guess Sullivan would be the best thing to eat it, but I don't think it really wants to, particularly. No, it doesn't particularly want to. So we just multi attack at this point. Like a rocket stamps like 40% ish. Sullivan comes in. Oh, that was wrong. Want to see? Okay, it's down to like 56 or something. Katana doesn't live another one. Doesn't. I need Katana in for free. Why padding shouldn't go to Pidgeot to kind of put on a bit of pressure. Or Diancy. No, I think Pidgeot does more to Sylveon. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Sylveon. I was it just was standard spread. Okay, this is if you say it's built. I have no idea if it's built. What the hell? I mean, Pidgeot should logically do more because it has a higher attack. And it definitely does. <laughs> Plus, there's like a nice, you know, there's a nice chance that we could, um... That we could stuff, basically. Add the voices. Good. I mean, that mean we could have gotten him down very low, but uh, unfortunately not. But we can just basically hurricane. I want to get him to a point where he either has to wish or protect. Because the thing is, I want Katana in for free. That's the goal. I want Katana in for free. He wishes. He has to protect here. He has to, has to, has to protect here. It did just done a 50% last time. I, I go into Katana. If he hyper voices and he gets a crit, he wins. He protects. Yes! Okay, beautiful. Because I just clicked Smart Strike. I have no reason not to click Smart Strike. He can protect again and get a bit more health. Which is of course what he does, that makes sense. I need to remember, Katana does not beat the Lycanroc. Most likely. I cannot trust that the Lycanroc is not scarfed. Considering he brought it in. Cannot trust that it's not scarf. But we should most likely claim a kill at this point. The good thing is, even if Lycanroc comes in, it has nothing that it can like lock itself into because Firefang, well, then he's not taking out the rest. Then he's only taking out Katana. Rockmo, well, then like the Silver Valley would be able to kind of have its fun. 
So he has to let something go. Question is what? Question is what? I mean, I would prefer if this thing went down. <laughs> because then like a rock will come in. It has to go to so the valley. Okay, he switches. What does he go into? This thing. Please take it out. Please take it out. Please take it out. Please. Please take it out. Please take it out. Please. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, but we still have to keep Katana. We still have to keep Katana. Oh, like and rock, like and rock. Do I have anything else instead? How many mods do I have? Okay, no, I have all four. Good, good. Because like and rock comes in. <laughs> um, actually, I kind of want to look at Sylvani. How much health? We have okay health. I think we have to go to Valley, basically. We have to keep Katana, like, under any circumstance. We need Katana to beat this thing if this thing is Scarf. He fire things. Good. I click padding shot. Probably. Because... Then I can go into Diane's if it stays in. Or if he switches, I get Katana in. Basically. That's basically all I can do. Unless he shows me that the switches move, but Silvella is bulky. I don't think he has anything to really hit it for. This battle is like 50 minutes, holy shit. Ah. <laughs> oh. I mean, the good battles are always the long ones. Always the long ones. Those are the ones that are worth seeing. Then no ones get swept. I mean, my play, no matter what, was Spanish shot. Stays in, I get Diane's in. He's withdraws, good. So yeah. That's perfect. Because I go Katana. And again, he can protect. But since he's special attack is lowered, even if he hyper voices, Katana should still live it. Should being the key word. Katana should technically, technically, technically live it. Technically, technically. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I click Smart Strike. I click Smart Strike. And it dies. Beautiful. Okay, so how do I beat this thing? How do I beat the last thing? I let Katana go down. I think. I think I just let Katana go down and see what he locks himself into and then like take it from there because if he's not scarfed, well, and he just fooled me, then like, okay, we win. If he is scarfed, I, he's not taking me out with Stone Edge. I don't think he's taking me out with Drill One. He would have to click Fire Fang. And if he has to click Fire Fang, we can go to Ancy. Okay, he's still. Okay, and avoids. I mean, I guess what's his best, best bet? To hit everything. But what, what would a Stone I'm curious. What would a Stone Edge do to Katana? Okay, it would max do like 34%. Okay, but uh, we some. Oh, I need to get this away. We somehow manage to snag a win. There's stuff, like, there was a bit like the uh, hurricane crit. And there was one thing else. I don't remember what it was, but there was one other thing. So, different, like, a little bit towards my adventures, but goddamn good game to Irish Emerald. You should definitely check him out. Like, his link will be down below, and somehow we're still we're, we're still in it, even though it looked pretty rough at some points and we lost Victini very early. But thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep it cool. Bye!